Welcome back to 24th Century Palette. I'm Captain Nils of the USS Bacchus. Today let's talk about Synthahol. Now, we all know that the intoxicating effects of Synthahol can be easily dismissed. So why bother? Well, it's much easier on your liver because for health reasons you may want to consider Synthahol rather than true alcohol. Uh, if you're on duty, if you need to stay sharp, um, those are all important things to consider. But, at the very least, it will add something to a meal. So it will add a flavor complexity that you can pair with. I have a pad somewhere with some pairings suggestions. Um, you can get them for off your replicator. Um, I will make them available on the Federation Network if you would like to see them. Uh, but there is a whole list of cocktails, wines, and spirits that you can pair with any meal imaginable. Don't dismiss Synthahol just because of the flavors. Now, that being said, there is a big difference, particularly I found this with synthaholic and replicated wine, even if it's not synthahol. So when you get wine from a replicator, even if it's true alcohol, there is just something lacking. It's always a little flatter than the real thing. Um, I found that with Andorian brandy. I found that with Aldebaran whiskey. Um, Definitely vintages from Earth, so anything from Bordeaux. Um, most recently, a 2364 Bordeaux that, you know, I had the real thing. I tried the replicated version. It was nothing alike. Um, I really, really love the convenience of a replicator, but, you know, particularly when you're cooking, I would highly recommend you try to get the real thing, or at the very least, replicate your ingredients and then cook from that. So those are just a few things to consider on my way. Mr. Tambourine Man! Mr. Tambourine Man!